and welcome back, this is Apogeros here, and this last play of Tales of Fantasia is brought to you by MushGames.ca. In the last episode we started the Moria Gallery, in this episode we shall continue with the Moria Gallery. And I do believe we got stuck down here just like before. Okay, floor 8. And we're floor 9 and we cannot get any further. So floor 9 is the lowest floor I believe, and that way is the shortest and fastest way up here. So... Since we tackled the last four floor in the last episode, we're gonna tackle the last remaining five floor. Also, the door is already open because we have already done the button combination. I'm gonna move away here so that I may use Phoenix from a distance. Forgot to check how close I was to maxing it out, but that's alright. And look who's starting with Tractor Beam again. Then again, on these guys, it doesn't really matter that much. Because it does damage. But, gotta be careful about it. So, let's use a Phoenix. And she's using spells, so she's gonna go with an attractor beam. We're gonna leave it alone then. Yatta, indeed. Okay, so let's head to this button here. Oh, that's what we need a statue for, of course. Didn't even know it was possible to drag this statue. So I'm gonna push this statue, hoping that I don't touch any of the buttons. But apparently encountering enemies are alright. So I'm gonna pull it like this. So in the battle, mean to actually gain a level, that's perfect for me. Okay, pushing up, up like that, and there we go. Can now progress to floor number 5. Which is a dark floor, you kidding me game? That's just cruel. And we have huge flying ogres now. Ogres are fine to deal with, but... It's always the huge flies when I think about it. But we cannot use... Phoenix on the ogres. Because they're freaking immune to fire. And we could lighting though, I believe. So, this is definitely annoying. Okay, we have a new area to the left, I mean the right here, that's good to know. And enemy battle again. Huge fly, uh, hopefully Phoenix will work on these guys. Undini takes them out in one hit I believe, yeah. Of course, the game doesn't show it to me, so I have no way of knowing. Okay, it does damage, but it does lower damage. Since they are resi resistance to fire. Oh, well, at least I know that the uh, Phoenix is usable on them. And I've always forgotten... Uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's see how close we are. 72% on Phoenix, that's good. Is there anything down here? Yeah, a locked door. I assume that's actually where we want to go then, when we have pushed the next button. For some reason I just started talking mid-battle there. Uh, you're not going to get it though, because I'm probably going to cut it out completely. Okay, cloth gain a level, and I think it's time to use... That's wrong button again. But it's definitely time to use a nurse to heal everybody up, since they have gone low on HP and all. So let's enter from this side first. Really hate the darkness. Have you found a switch? If we press it, we can continue on down some more. Yeah, I'm actually looking for a switch, woman. Unfortunately, it's not the easiest thing to find here in the dark. Oh, here is one at least. And here is the next switch. So, in order to progress further here, we would have needed the sorcerer's ring to begin with at all. Now, we want to head as quickly as we can to the left. But I think avoiding enemies is impossible though. Unless of course we use a uh, holy bottle. But it's lost experience. And I don't really necessarily need to encounter a lot of enemies at the same time. So uh, a dark ball is out of the question as well. Ah oh, crap, I'm gonna miss it. Well, hopefully Phoenix is maxed out soon. Hopefully before I can get the next new attack. 
Then again, it's also nice to have several attacks that you can learn at the same time. And, okay. Oh, are you kidding me, game? And spikes and all that. So, spikes and complete darkness. Two annoying factors in one. I do believe we actually have to run through the spikes at one point as well. What's up here? Nothing of importance, apparently. But I could be wrong when it comes to... Nope! We actually have to go to, through the spikes on the left if we want to go th any further there. The spikes up here. Doesn't seem to be anything important though. Maybe the spikes are just there to trick us. Okay, class is pretty close to death. But yeah, this is essentially where we get if we run right through, I think. Let's see what kind of enemies and... Okay, nothing to worry about. Especially when uh, Archie takes care of the uh, bats for us. So, let's see with Phoenix here. Let's see... We get... Yeah, to absolutely nothing. Just as I figured. Not sure why I got the bright idea of running through anyway. Okay, gotta see now how close we are. Oh, whoops. To a new... I mean, maxing out Phoenix. 85%, fair enough. We are getting closer then. That's for sure. Uh, wait a second. Did I come from... Yeah, I did. I come from there. I mean, came from there. Uh, let's see... Oh yeah, teleporter, of course. Oh yeah, teleporter's up, up there, good to know. Oh sweet, Archie gained a level. So I guess something good came out of this. Okay, the spikes do not damage us too much. So... Okay, that's awkward. But I guess it works. So at least uh, this entire area is not pitch black, so that's something we can go down there if we'd like. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what's up here. So, another easy battle at the very least. S more spikes and apparently buttons. There we go. Okay, so buttons apparently and statues. Okay, there we go. Yes, we want to pull this lever. Okay, that opens up so we can get to the treasure chest. Awesome. You know what? I haven't really shown off uh, Ifrit, so might as well do that. I'm pretty sure they will survive enough, long enough for Ifrit to come. This is Ifrit. He cast summons a hexagon, I believe it is. Either that or a... Uh, Either a hexagon or a pentagon, I'm not really sure. Kind of hard to see when it spins around like that. And we want to push this onto that again. So that we can get out from the door. Because I'm not teleporting there. Okay, let's see. We have the lemon gummy on inside. That's pretty good, actually. Go well, away, lizard. You're in the way for me. So, a huge fly and an ogre again. Well, at least on the huge fly I can use fire spells, but I think that boat has just sailed. Let's have Undini finish this. There we go. Okay, apparently he has survived. Oh well, doesn't matter. A little too late with that, Archie. A little too late. So let's move out from here, there we go, another battle taken care of, and I do believe it was down here, there we go, so let's move down, okay, Cla class is not doing good with HP again, neither is those two, so I guess a nurse is in order, but we have gotten to that point where only one or two members take damage and Phoenix is almost maxed out. 
Okay, so we have a f floor number seven here. Can I use the save? Yes, why not? There we go. This torch isn't lit. Of course it isn't lit. Why would it? Okay, ca yeah, I know it isn't lit. There we go. Got a teleport from doing that. So I assume that this will take us to either floor 8 or even further down. Which is very likely it takes us from a different location in floor 7. But I think I'll end off this episode here and we shall do it next week instead. So this has been Albergoros. Thank you for watching. Stay froggy everyone and I hope to see you next time. See you then.